So what is clairvoyance? I think many of you, if you've been drawn to this video, and it's such a common phrase in the spiritual world and intuitive psychic world, that a lot of people know what clairvoyance is. But I'm going to give you my own personal opinion on it. Please make sure at this moment to like and subscribe to my channel because I will be making more videos like this if you like it. And let's go. Okay, so clairvoyance. The clairs... Um, all the different clairs. Claire itself means spiritual. It's kind of the spiritual psychic definition of a sense of, you know, the five senses, six senses. Um, so it's mostly six senses. Uh, clairvoyance itself mostly comes out of the third eye. It means spiritual seeing. Okay, so it's in the mind's eye. A lot of people think that it is something that you see right in front of you. You know, and it can be, it really can be. Like a lot of times when the angels come around, we will see little flashes of light out of our eyes. Um, first off, rule out anything physical. I'm gonna say that right now. I used to get migraines and migraines cause, and I still do occasionally, but migraines cause flashes of light. So always rule out the physical. It's very important. Many people get caught up in this spiritual world and they just, don't pay attention to the practical things. I'm an Aries, got to be practical. So really rule out any physical things that may be going on, especially when it comes to clairvoyance, because our eyesight is such a great indicator if there's an ailment. That ruled out, clairvoyance is spiritual seeing. It's not so much or so often actually physically seeing, though it can be. Some people do have that gift of clairvoyance, or occasionally you will slip back the veil a bit and you will see the sparkles, you will see the colors. You can see an aura around somebody if you have the gift of clairvoyance. We can see ghosts, we can see spirits, we can see all that stuff, right? It's very possible to catch glimpses. But, however, Clairvoyance is mostly in the mind's eye. So think of it like if you close your eyes and you imagine a movie that you just saw or a TV show that you really love. I want you to take a moment and capture, let's look at Sesame Street, right? Close your mind's eye, the memory of Big Bird walking down Sesame Street, and I hope I don't get in trouble for copyright, but Big Bird walking down Sesame Street, that big yellow bird, you have the memory of that, right? You can see it in your mind's eye. You can see the image because it's something that you've seen before. It's something that you remember. It's like watching a movie or remembering a movie or a TV screen in your third eye. Now, clairvoyance itself is when I do readings for people, um, when I tend to do remote viewing or I tend to do, um, Archangel Michael will come in very often and he will walk me through the layout of someone's house. And yes, it kind of freaks people out sometimes. But when he's trying to show me where spirits are, where negative energy is, where they need to work, I will be able to close my eyes, see the image of their house in my mind's eye, look and describe their house. It's not an exact science, but a lot of times I can describe the house, I can describe the rooms, I can do all of that. And Archangel Michael helps me with my clairvoyance to walk through a floor plan of a home. I can know if they have a basement or, you know, all of that sort of thing. I see the images in my mind's eye. Now, I've taken many years to develop that skill. It is something that has always come naturally to me. Um, remote viewing is also something if you are wondering where someone is or you can close your eyes, go through the mind's eye. Now I come through the perspective of angelic realm. So I ask Archangel Raziel and Michael and my angels to show me where it is. And that's why I tend to have a bit more accuracy, I think. I think a lot of people get really caught up in being right. I had to let that go. I did in the beginning, it would almost block or hinder my clairvoyance. I had to let go. I had to really trust and have faith. I had to have fun with it, really have fun with it in the beginning, because if you're putting too much pressure on yourself and you haven't con like really allowed the time and practice to confirm your accuracy through experiences or to know if you're right or wrong or to have that confirmation of being accurate more often than not. And it's okay to be wrong once in a while. We're not, it's not a perfect science. I always tell people to run for the hills if somebody says they're hundred percent accurate because it's, this is not a perfect science. <laughs> That's all I can say. But I've done it so many times over the years. I'm right more often than I'm wrong. And 
It's because I have fun with it. So you can go to with our, I have a clairvoyance. If you go to my website, go to my search bar on my website, type in clairvoyance. I have a blog. I have meditations, uh, lisabici.com, lisabici.com should be down there somewhere. Um, type in clairvoyance and read the article, do the meditation. I think I even have a class, like a half hour class in meditation on it. It's a really fun skill to develop. It's really great to practice on friends, you know, soften your eyes when you're looking at auras and, and look at somebody's aura and see what colors you physically see and, you know, allow yourself to do remote viewing or even lucid dreaming or clairvoyance is also in dreams when you see it in a dream that's clairvoyance as well because you're seeing images you're seeing pictures it's it's like looking at something you know it's spiritual seeing so google it i always tell people read 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 watch videos take what resonates with you because like most claires it's really your experiences People share their experiences like I am here. It's a very individual process with you and your spiritual team and God and allow yourself to develop it and practice it. And please let yourself off the hook. I can't tell you how many times people get frustrated with this Claire. And the truth is, is that you just got to do what you can do and have fun with it. I tell people only work on one Claire at a time, really develop it, really hone it, and then move to the next one. So I hope this has helped you. I would love for you to like the video and subscribe below because I will be doing more videos like this. So I hope that you'll join me. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can go to lisabeachy.com. Um, I also do weekly readings on this channel every Thursday morning live. For right now, I kind of come and go with that. I do it when I can. If not, I'll record it for sure. And I would love to have you stick around and, and let me know what you think. Have a blessed day.